Growing up, our parents were never really super Arab. If I had to put them on a sort of scale of um, Arabness, I would say they were somewhere below the middle. Well, I think that's actually a good thing if you think about it. That means that they're more easygoing and more open-minded. Don't get me wrong, they still preferred the doctor and engineer route. They still use olive oil and black seed oil to treat any and every illness out there. My mom did one time throw a slipper in my general direction. That's an exaggeration. Come on. No, it happened. I swear she was angry. Fake news. N- no, no. Describe but it. No, no, I didn't. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Regardless, the problem is these stories don't match up well with my friends. You're just sitting there awkwardly with your friends trying to, you know, contribute a story to the conversation. Man, yesterday I was just sitting there playing COD and my dad walks in and he's like, and he got out his belt and then my mom who was like downstairs like drinking her shy and stuff she's like came up and she's all like habibi you need to study to be a doctor so you can marry your aunt's daughter sarah and then she like flung a slipper in my face <laughs> yeah um yesterday i uh i ate ma'mul and za'atar yeah i think food is the only cultural thing we really have going for us otherwise we're not really arab i mean if there was a game show called how arab are you we'd lose every single round well other than the part about being punctual welcome to how arab are you and now our first contestant hamudi i know or is that me talking to me isn't he our next contestant, Abudi! All right, for our first question, what is the first thing you do when you wake up? Um, brush your teeth. What? You drink ahwe. Next question, how many kisses do you give when saying hello? Oh, yeah, that's a uh, galat! It's three! Okay, next question. What is the ideal number of times you honk when driving? Um, I think you probably shouldn't. What? Three questions. You always hug when you drive. Next and final question. How much perfume is just right? I think most people tell you... Galat! Galat, galat, galat! The right answer is the whole bottle or nothing. Well, I think because we don't seem very cultural, it's hard for people to pinpoint where we're from. So a lot of times, you know, when people like to ask that question, you know, where are you from? Which usually means like, what's your ethnicity, where your parents are from? They are really surprised by our answer. And on one hand, either they're Pakistani and are devastated to find out that the last 10 minutes of Urdu meant zero to me, or they're Arab and they're super unimpressed with my lack of Arabness. Yeah, and our skin color is a bit darker than most Lebanese, so that doesn't really help. I mean, like maybe it's maybe it's like five percent darker, but you gotta you gotta get all the points you can. And our broken Arabic definitely does not help. Yeah, I mean, even though our Arabic is good enough to understand what people are saying, we don't really know what we're supposed to say back sometimes. I know my friends like to introduce me as being Lebanese, especially when it's to an older uncle, and sometimes that tends to get me in awkward situations where I kind of expose my lack of Arabness. Like one time, my friend introduced me as being Lebanese, and the store owner got really excited. Hey, hello, sahla. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Are you Hey, um, from Lebanon. Lebanon, you're Habibi. You could be adopted, you know. Yeah, it kind of happens a lot, even with family, like even with Tete and Jindo, I'll be sharing a story and somewhere along the line, I realize that, hey, I don't know what the next word is in Arabic or the next sentence. And so I decide that my technique is to just give up, you know, like abandon the thought completely. So in the middle of my my conversation, when I'm talking, I'll just kind of drift off and mumble and end off with, mm, yeah, yeah, no, you know, and it... I think it works out because I don't really know if they understand what I'm saying to begin with. Thing is, most people speak to me every other language except Arabic. Like one time I was sitting on the bus and this, you know, older guy sits beside me and starts speaking Hebrew to me. Yeah, I've had people ask me if I was Jewish. Well, you know what? That's why sometimes I think it's better just to play along. Just kind of try to figure out what they're saying and not make a whole awkward deal about it. Like a lot of my friends tend to be Pakistani, so their parents tend to think that I'm Pakistani, and I'll be in situations where it's kind of been a bit too late to let them know that I have no idea what they said, 
So I try to figure it out. Uh, assalamu alaikum. Is, is Bilal home to uh, play at the park? Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll see him there. Hey, how'd you know I was here? Oh, your mom told me. At least I think she did. So, if you're like us, it tends to feel like you're in this awkward, lonely middle where you're not too cultural for your own group and other ethnicities think you're the same group as that but they realize you're not and quickly get pushed into the middle the awkward lonely middle but there's good news because the lonely middle isn't so lonely anymore if you're like us you're part of this many first generation muslims that spoke mostly english and never really got into the whole cultural stuff from back home not to mention you're seeing a bit of a shift with future generations especially with a lot of interracial marriages going on i mean we're out uh interracial nikah just the other day right Rahman? yep hey look even closer Muhammad himself will have lebanese pakistani canadian kids in the future inshallah and i don't think anyone will care about the order of those words in the future so if you're like us and you aren't very cultural you're part of this awkward middle then welcome or i guess i should say ahlan wa sahlan. thanks so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed that as much as we enjoyed making it i know it's a lot different than our usual type of content so let us know in the comments below what you honestly thought about it did you hate it did you love it because we're hoping to make more, so hopefully you loved it. If you're looking for any sort of stories, whether it's just these personal funny stories or more of the higher quality Hollywood type of short film kind of stuff, subscribe and join the journey.